I just got hired to drive this train. There's just one problem. I have no idea what I'm doing. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Welcome everyone to Upper Mississippi River Valley or UMRV for short. This has always been one of my favorite farm sim maps ever since I saw it in, I think 17 is when it released. I have been in love with this map. This map has been added to Farm Sim 22, completely overhauled and a lot of cool things added. We're gonna go over a little bit of that today, but primarily we're gonna focus on one of the new features, the drivable train. Now I am considering uh, making a series on this map, a farming series or a business series. Let me know what you would like to see me do on this map in the comments down below. So let's just pull this up into our farmyard. If you've ever seen UMRV, then you're familiar with this farmyard, at least roughly. It is a little tiny bit different. A couple updates and changes here and there. We can just park right there on that open slab and we'll uh, run on up here to the house, get our truck out from the garage. So as we're pulling out of the driveway, I just want to let you guys know that I know nothing about operating trains, not a single thing. So don't expect everything to be accurate, okay? But before we can do any bit of work today, just like every normal human being, we need coffee. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, by the way, all the water is kind of brown. It's not very appealing, I must admit. But the brown water is pretty cool and more accurate as well. Oh, hold on. We'll just make sure there's no train coming, right? Nope, looks clear. So we're going through the town of McGregor, Iowa on the map here. It's absolutely beautiful. You see, we got flowers and trees and you got dynamic sounds at all of these places you can hear them like operating that building is a new marketplace that was something else at one point in time so some things have been changed well we got a tim hortons now and a post office yeah hey town is getting better and better all right but to get the good coffee and the breakfast pizza we got to go across the river a barge is going under us right now hold on wait wait dude hats off to the creator of this map you did a good job here we go. Oh, Casey's and also kind of a BP in one. I'm not going to lie. It says ball on the 50 and my dumb brain. I thought it said balloon 50 and I was like, well, they got 50 balloons out here. I don't understand. All right. Enough of that. Let's walk inside, get some of the world's best coffee here. Hey, oh, Steve, I forgot doors are a thing. All right. Appreciate it, Steve. Man, 1973. I feel like that's the last time this place's prices has ever been updated. All right. Coffee acquired. We can finally get to work. Okay. So if I bring up my GPS here, we can see we're right here. We just went across this bridge from this town and the train we're going to be hauling is actually right up here parked just north of town so let's get on over there and pick it up all right good news guys we have made it to the train well hold on bad news guys i think i maybe missed my little i did i missed my turn okay so this is the only drive and to do this i'd have to go through his crop but there is another drive right there so it's like it's almost like they expect that maybe I'm just gonna do it. I hope this is okay. All right, there we go. We've got over here and now, all right, just park up right there and let's hop into our big old train. So this is the Canadian Pacific Railway 5844. I have no idea what any of that means, but what I can do is hop up inside. All right, let's, we're inside here. Go ahead and uh, fire this big boy on up. Listen to him fire up. All right, while this thing starts, uh, starts up and everything, we are going to just Kind of walk along and do a little checky poo here. Kind of hard to do on a bridge. All right, let's just see. We're coupled here. Yep, looking good. All right, we're up on top now. Just walking across. Let's see here. Looking down here. Yep, looks like we're coupled. Let's go ahead and climb up again. And walk back here to this next one. That looks good. Jump. Oof, made it. All right, there we go. We've got the last one checked. We're all good. I gotta be careful getting off this bridge. Easy, and then just kind of walk this way and jump. There we go, made it. So now we get the painstaking task of walking all the way back to the beginning of our train. Get inside and we will get ready to roll here. So we're coming into town up here, but we're not there yet. So we can do our full speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine. We're gonna start accelerating. This thing's actually pretty fast when it's light. We're already up to 30 miles an hour, up to 32 now, and we'll just kind of gradually take this thing into town here. All right, coming up into town at about 40 miles an hour. I'm gonna be slowing it down here because that is too fast. 
Down to about 35 or so now. I'm going to really, really, really start to hand those brakes. And we're going to start to blare that horn. And I timed this a little wrong. <laughs> and we're going to hit him with a short and a long as we go through. There we go. Right on through. And we're actually going to be coming to a stop up here because we have to load something at John Deere. And this is the easiest way we could do it. Now, I know in real life, probably wouldn't do it this way but is this is the best i can do all right let's go ahead and see if we can bring it to a stop right here i think we might have to back up yes yeah, so we've still got those crossing guards down i can't go any farther forward than this this is going to be difficult to load right here all right just reversing this thing ever so easily going about five miles an hour back Ooh, we're actually picking up speed we're picking up speed going down this hill easy Gotta hear them brakes a little bit. Right about there we'll have to do. Let's go ahead and see if we can park it there. Honestly, I think it'll work. I think we can do this. Okay, so I uh, I maybe bit off more than I can chew. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pick this thing up and put it into our train or not. It's a, it's a little bit bigger than I anticipated. Here we are. Oh my gosh, this is, this is an official way to do this for sure. All right, nice and easy. Don't wiggle now. All right, here we go. Upsy daisy, nice and easy. Ideally, you would have a, a flatbed or two, but this particular train does not. So we have to make do by uh, doing this and then a little bit of this and a lot of that and a hair of uh-oh with just a smidgen of I know what to do next. There we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Gets a little better. Maybe one more little love tab, Jake. Yeah, just real good little. Just shove it down in there. Just show it who's boss. All right. There we go. I think we got her loaded up nice and fine. Here you go, John Deere. Here's your Volvo back. I ain't mean to run into your fence like that, but you know, you know, that's your problem, not mine. Here we go. Time to drive a train. Okay, here we go. I have no idea what is going to happen. All I know is we're going to get going and hopefully we don't lose that sprayer all the way back. Oh no. Oh, oh, we're coming up to some sort of yard. We're on a downgrade too. So let's keep slowing it down. We do have a pickup here as well today. So I want to be able to slow down underneath their pipes up here. We'll come around the bend. Keep slowing it down, Jake. There you go. Nice and manageable. Manageable. We're going to cross over here nice and slow, not too fast. There you go. Nice and easy right up underneath. Perfect. So I'll just pull right up underneath here and we'll open up the hatch for cart one back there. All right, while we're here waiting for uh, the load to show up for us to load into here, just climb on up to the top here and take a look inside. Yep, we're all clear, empty. Can I fall down in here? No, I can't. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you can. Okay, note to self, don't do that. You know what? I'm also going to run all the way back here and just check on our uh, sprayer as well. Well, you seem to have shifted to the back and maybe you've hit a tree or two, but you, you know, you're doing all right. Okay, so I just got a phone call from the driver of the person who's delivering the grain and he said he's stuck just down the road. I don't, it's not like I have a car to go get him, but I guess let's take the train and see if we can find him and see what's going on. Let's see. Where are you at, buddy? I'm backing up as fast as I can. Let's see. Do we see him? You see him there? Do you see him there? Oh, oh, you dummy. Oh, you big dummy. Hmm. Iowa State Cyclones. Hmm. Hmm. I see you hit the fire hydrant. Is this... Is this a protest of the cyclones? It's not very efficient. Here, let me let me show you how it's done. See, your first mistake was hitting the fire hydrant. You gotta hit the building. Oh, oh, oh no, I'm inside of the cyclones. Somebody help. I didn't know that I could go through that. Oh, hello. Excuse me, buddy. You kinda cut me off. Are we gonna are we gonna talk about it? Er hold on. Now there's gonna be a truck over here, but no train. That's quite the dilemma, ain't it? Oh, I'm supposed to take a left here. I don't think that's possible. Uh, don't mind me, it's fine. I'll just Austin Powers this thing. I'll, we'll get there. Why, hi, building. Um, I'm here to unload grain. Would you like some? Boy, I'm sure glad that you would like some grain because here you go. I, uh, I, I got an Uber back to the train. Okay, here we go. Coming down in. We're probably going to want to slow down. Let's see. Wait for it. Wait for it. Slam the brakes. And, well, we overshot the first and the second and the third and the fourth and the fifth and the sixth. We're going to... Oh, no, the sprayer. The sprayer. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Are you good, buddy? Oh, you are not going to fit under that, are you? Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Look who got it this time. Ah. <sighs> 
Okay, start filling with wheat. Okay, we're filled up with wheat. We have a sprayer. We're ready to roll. Let me get this thing set to five and we're gonna cruise on forward here. And then, you know what? No need for restraint. Let's just go all the way, baby. There's two things I wanna pay attention to here. So we're gonna do it twice. First of all, we're gonna watch that get nailed oh my gosh <laughs> does it stay in the train oh no it fell off didn't it it fell off the train sorry everybody not me sending it back Let's slow down hold on hi car how's it gone you've probably never seen that happen before have you are you going through that that's pretty rude okay now we get to do this part of it that i wanted to do so we're coming up to some tracks we're gonna hit them with a the honk there's 25 we'll bring it up to 35 now we're going across this bridge Look, there's those barges. Are those the same barges from earlier? Beautiful drive down here. I mean, it would be even more pretty if all of this water was blue. <laughs> but even still, just a gorgeous little drive right here. And then right up here to the left is the old RCC from years ago. My old uh, equipment dealership that I had. All the memories. All right, slow it down now. Slow it down. Hold on. What has that been turned into over there? Hold on. We've got to go look at this real quick. This is the old site of RCC, an abandoned like equipment used equipment dealership that we had running. It was out of this old gas station. And look at this. He's actually got it fenced for the back, like what we did. And he's got old abandoned things sitting back here. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. We could literally do another RCC. That would be so cool. Oh, maybe I didn't call it RCC. No, I called it RVR. Yeah, that's what I called it. RCC was grants and I called this RVR, River Valley Restorations. That's what it was. It's been a few years. Okay, guys, bear with me. All right, once we go underneath this bridge, we are on our way out of the state headed south and we're going to be taking our load with us guys that's going to be it for this video if you enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe and until next time i'll see y'all later peace